Hi guys, it's Granny Tana speaking. Welcome to this FS22 mod presentation video. In this video I'll show you my American Barn mod. And this American Barn comes in five variations. As you can see, three here and two more here. And then additional two silos and you have color choice, as we will see later. So, let's first have a look at, as the, at the basic barn. Um, why I did it, how I did it and what I thought about it. Um, I did it on, on one hand because I love the barn in Elm Creek a lot. Um, the base game barn that looks so nice and beautiful and is so useless for storing your vehicles and so you can drive through okay but that's it pretty much because there are so many shelves and everything is not high enough and therefore I thought oh this would be so nice if we would have it a little bit bigger and without those shelves. And that is the one reason. And the other reason is uh, when working on um, an icon for my Discord server, I was, um, I uh, did my research what is a typical image for farming. And then Google told me a typical image for farming is a red American barn. And then I thought, okay, yeah, I definitely have to build one like this. And that's what I did. And then I thought about it, to how to make it most useful and appropriate to the real barn. So I had a look at a lot of uh, images in the internet of those uh, barns and indeed a lot of them have this uh, side porch and a s small side building either only a part of it or the whole length and sometimes on both sides and so the way it this is done on the Elm Creek barn is quite correct and then this typical roof is uh, is sh uh, sure and the red color uh, everybody knows this and then I measured the um, most of the small tractors and the small smaller combines like this one and thought about how big uh, should I do this that a lot of stuff fits inside but it shouldn't be too big and so I made it bigger and larger than the barn uh, that we have in Elm Creek and here we can go inside I already prepared some um, stuff here because it always takes a while for me to park this very nice and so you can store all those smaller uh, machines at those places where is no door like this and here and then I made it a um, drive-through barn so every door has their opposite door at the opposite side so if you are not good in driving backwards, you can use this completely as a drive-through shed. And here we have three doors on each side. And here we have a bigger one that goes in this direction. And this is a drive-through too. You can open and close all the doors. And yeah, but if you uh, like to drive around in such a barn, you could easily keep those closed, those doors, 
and use it for storage too. So you can use it as you like. And now I take this tractor and the fertilizer machine that you can see how you can drive inside the barn rather easy and in reality you would need much more wooden posts to make it stable but I thought four posts in the middle of the barn should be enough because more posts would be uh, disturbing for driving and so you get the imagination of stability there are posts but only few so and therefore it is not so hard um, not so very hard <laughs> to put this nicely at its place and then you can leave the barn through a door of your choice or you could park your tractor just there and then I thought okay this is good for all the smaller machines and for the tractors but what to do if you have a trailer and you want to use this central space for something else um, for a combine harvester for example therefore I made this um, this little mm, appendix or this porch house or yeah I don't know how to call it but you see what it is so at this place the barn is wider than at the other place and that is for a reason that you can keep your trailers here or at least one like so it could be even bigger and you can leave it there and the the center LA keeps free that wouldn't be the case if you would place the the trailer for example here then the um, the center LA would be uh, obstructed and okay if you want to have a loading wagon as well then yeah then you couldn't use the center alley but this was a compromise between making the barn very big um, and having lots of place or making it medium big and yeah having not all the place you can imagine and I think it's enough storage place for a small farm uh, with nearly all necessary machines mm, so for the beginning you could put all your stuff inside and later you uh, buy an additional shed if you are a bigger farmer and now to the combine if I would have made it big enough that you can drive through with the um, oh I forgot how it's called this and I have the German word this um, this here the cutter you know what I mean if you want to put this um, at 
yeah, drive with this into the barn, it would have become too big, the whole barn. And therefore I thought, okay, that's not possible. And that is much bigger than we had in FS19. Uh, with this combine, it would have been okay, but with this, with six meter, uh, it's too much. And therefore I thought about where could we put this and then I made this porch only with one post in the middle that we have enough place to put it here. And then, so you have it under a roof and you could drive into the barn with the combine. like so. And if you would have a trailer, then you could go inside with the trailer and the, the th this thingy, which word I don't know for the moment. <laughs> and I'm sure after the video I will remember at once how it's called. It's always like that. So, and if you only have your combine here, you could still access the stuff. And if you want to access this, then you just have to drive it a little bit further. Yeah. Now you can go to the second floor. And this is just empty. If you so wish, you could store bales or stuff if you have um, yeah, a machine to bring all the stuff upstairs. But um, yeah, so basically it is empty. And then I thought, well, what a pity that it's empty. Uh, what would I d uh, put there? I would definitely put a loft there to live up there. It would be nice to have all your machinery downstairs and uh, in the loft you could live. And then I made a second variation, which is the farmhouse barn. And it has some decoration here. And here it's all the same, empty waiting for your stuff and when you go upstairs it's still no farmhouse you still have place for all your bales and I thought if I would furnish the whole space it would have been too much too much slots and um, too much furniture, uh, not needed furniture. I only wanted to make something like a um, small or medium sized loft um, apartment. And that is here. And you have everything that you need. You have a kitchen and with some free fruits and a bathroom like so, with a bathtub and toilet and everything you need. And here is the bed in, in an, an alcove-like niche that you have a little bit your privacy if you live here with uh, your partner or so. Yeah, here we have a small office where you can make all your office stuff that a uh, farmer needs to, to work on. And here a living area with TV and everything you need to make yourself comfortable. Uh, comfortable. <laughs> and here we have a dining table and um, wardrobes. And here you can dress like so. And here you can sleep. So it's an official farmhouse with a barn. Oh, and when you open this, you 
can't fall down so it's secured for your safety but there you could fall down or you could use it to bring up stuff if you have a machine that is able to do this yeah and then I thought okay the barn in Elm Creek has this wonderful silo this wonderful useless silo and let's give this silo some use and so I took this exactly the same silo from the Elm Creek barn and yeah added it to the farmhouse uh, to the barn it, this is this is a barn not the farmhouse barn the only the farmhouse barn is a farmhouse all the others are just just a shed just a barn and this is with a silo and it's a multi fruit silo with 10 million liters for storing and the barn itself is just the same as before and the only difference is that you have a silo here and then when I did my research for how uh, does barns, American barns really look I saw a lot of those with those concrete silos with this round top and then I thought okay yes why not make another one with a silo out of concrete and like that we have this in Elm Creek too and so this is the the most typical view when you have images in your Google search and other than that it's just the same multi fruit silo with 10 million liters and here we have another version because usually such a barn is a storage for hay and straw and stuff and here I put some decorative straw this is just de uh, decorative um, to to let it fill up when you put something in I would have needed scripts and then this wouldn't be okay for consoles but this mod is for consoles and therefore no scripts and this is a hayloft and it has 10 million liters as well as the silos but only the fruit types um, that are um, suitable for a hayloft but not only hay and straw but also grass and silage and chaff and TMR as well so an extended hayloft version somehow and then I made this uh, separate silos because I thought hmm what if someone wants to have a farmhouse barn with a silo then you could choose the farmhouse barn like so and here we can you can see the prices so the basic barn is 30,000 and then with the farmhouse it's 45,000 and the silos are 45,000 as well and the hayloft is only 40,000 because you can't um, it's no silo with it only this blower and the pipe and then the separate um, silos are 10,000 each oh and they only have 5 million liters yeah but I think 5 li million liters is still okay and you can put it here to the farmhouse barn or if you want to have it at the other side like so then you can um, put it together as you like here with a free building mode or you just oh, 
Oh, this is a little bit further away, but you would need the free building uh, mode to place it close to, to it. And now let's have a look at the um, color color choice. This this color choice is for all barns, all the same. So, and this is like with the Hermann Halls. Uh, where you can have color choice. So uh, for PC I use M and N to choose and I made, I used all the typical Hermann colors and this typical red barn and this typical um, bluish color that is very typical for some American farmhouses and I thought okay yes this the blue one is nearly as typical than the red one and therefore I added it and those are different kinds of colors and you can choose if, as you like and this is the basic oh, again yes and this, we have several barns in Elm Creek with this color and therefore I thought, okay, this should be added. Yeah. So, you can find this mod in ModHub and it's for all platforms. Okay, I hope you have fun with it and I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and all the best. Till next time. Tschüss.